जय चंद्रन जय चंद्रन
Ethan, are you here, my boys? Yes, sir. I'm able to listen to you. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, yes, sir. sir. Good morning. Let's wait for a few more seconds and let others join. Jay Chandran? Yes, sir. Yeah, we start. Yeah, sure, sir. Sure. I, I welcome all the participants from the various institutions uh, because of we are the Guru Nanak Institute of Technology is a mentor institution. I request to all, please mute yourself. Okay, so, under the Institution Innovation Council is a mentor mentee program activity four. Funded by Ministry of uh, Innovation Council, AICTE. So today um, we are under the activity four. It's an innovation and entrepreneurship exposure visit and training program. So I welcome our uh, GNIT management as well as uh, our managing director and our Engan Dynamic Principal, Dr. S. Srinath Reddy, sir, for giving the opportunity to conduct this program. And uh, every day they are giving the right path to improve the activities. And uh, I welcome today our chief guest, Mr. Jay Chandran. Welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, in his busy schedule, he is given the uh, slot and uh, accepting for delivering his special lecture about uh, online registrations of copyrights, design pattern, and uh, trademarks. It's a portal visit demo like that. Then in this occasion, I welcome our 20 institutions, all the coordinators of RBVRR, BITS, KGR, ET, BJIT, BVR, IT. Once again, I welcome all the participants for uh, taking the knowledge about on online registration of the copyrights, design, pattern, and trademarks. I call Mr. Rajesh to introduce today our chief guest, Mr. Jay Chandra. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. 
Good morning to all. I am A. Rajesh, IAC coordinator of CSC department. Uh, take a great privilege uh, to introduce uh, today's resource person, uh, Mr. P. J. Chandran, who is presently serving as legal advisor for intellectual property rights and services in uh, TRD work DD. And uh, he has also been working as assistant professor uh, in the uh, senior grade in Nanda Engineering College. Uh, sir is also pursuing uh, PhD at Anna University and is ha and also having uh, 13 years of uh, experience. And uh, sir is also a life member of uh, IET in New Delhi and also a life member at, in uh, Maktal, Dinadi, Parvani. Sir is having a wide knowledge on intellectual property rights uh, and sir received six copyrights on various titles. And also he actively delivered uh, 10 seminars and various workshops uh, on uh, IPR uh, in various government engineering colleges and also private institutions. He also uh, delivered a workshop on format setting and uh, here is uh, he is sir, sir received faculty award from novel research academy shield of appreciation received from texas instruments for indian innovation challenge design contest and sir serviced to various initi uh, initiatives uh, on copyrights uh, are also go green and, and also e waste management and also sir initiated uh, minted software for smart screen reader for visually impaired software uh, related to NAC criteria 7. So we are very thankful, sir, for your presence. And now I request, sir, to start your session. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thanks for the introduction. And I'm really honored to be uh, present. My information or knowledge to share with all the others. And uh, thanks for the opportunity, uh, Dr. Dhanasegaran, sir, and uh, uh, all the other... Jay Chandra, yes, sir. Before, before your uh, presentation, I welcome our uh, uh, coordinators of many institutions. Sir, kindly share a few words about our activities. Uh, doc Dr. Neela Gandappa, sir. Good morning. Think somewhat network issue, Doctor Shatya Kumar sir. Sir, good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, all of you. First of all, uh, a warm greetings to uh, advisory board of our uh, today's speaker uh, and uh, our mentee, uh, mentor, uh, Doctor Tanushekaran Garu. Uh, I am. We are very much thankful to you, sir. Uh, on behalf of uh, VJIT, I am very much thankful to Tanushekaran sir and the Kurnalak institutions. Continuously, they are offering, uh, they are conducting this type of sessions and to engaging the students and as well as the faculty members to grow further towards the entrepreneurship and uh, development of IPR activities and all these things. Uh, this is, it is a very good platform to know that how to register the uh, intellectual properties. As of, as a faculty, we all of you know that what is the importance of intellectual property and what are the types of intellectual properties and all these things. Uh, we don't know the practically of where to register and how to register. And I feel that today's session will be helpful to each and every faculty and as well as student and protect them. You know, like okay, Dr. Neela Kandapa, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, first of all, let us thank uh, our uh, mentor in this Guru Nanak College. And uh, Dr. Dhanasekaran, sir, for coordinating the wonderful event. So especially this event will be very useful for the faculty as well as for the students. Uh, many of the students having most of the ideas and uh, those need to be patented. And uh, I urge that uh, uh, 
the most of the parents are at the publication stage only so they should plan the demonstration they should plan the thing in such a way that that can be defended and that can be granted so if you compare the number of granted versus number of uh, published so it is not even 10% so i request today's uh, guest also to give more exposure on getting grant of the patent uh, along with the patent publication so i thank all the co co menti institutions for uh, joining this session today uh, all the best for the all the participants thank you dandre sir thank you sir kg reddy kg reddy's anybody coordinators yes sir very good morning sir uh, good yes, morning sir. to all the menti coordinators as well as jaychandra sir uh, sir really uh, we should feel happy and also uh, we are delight like uh, under the guidance of uh, uh, dhanshekaran sir because uh, he had been uh, i mean continuously like everywhere uh, he was asking us like uh, what are the activities that you have performed and how many activities that you are doing and where all whatever uh, difficulties that you are facing so he was uh, continuously guiding us so sir i really thank you for that and also uh, the whatever the guidance that you showed in this uh, trip and the tour whatever we have been for the last two days so i also thank for that and we have been uh, what it is like it, it is a very good exposure sir traveling with you and uh, and one more thing sir like uh, the session is on mainly uh, registration the registration of ip as we all know like uh, india is still standing in uh, uh, somewhere around in hundreds like uh, 200 somewhere we are like we need to get more patents but as compared with other countries so sir uh, with your uh, uh, words or with your uh, uh, whatever the details that you provide us this would help us uh, help us to do more patents and also we can also provide guidance to the students and others but i really welcome you sir and also thank you uh, and also thanks uh, dhanshekaran sir for providing us this good opportunity and all the best thank you sir thank you thank you ma'am from bits Biology and stuff, technology and science. Yeah, very good morning to all, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. We are here. Yeah, I am also Dr. Nareesh, sir, head of the department of MBA. Yes, sir. Please, sir. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much for giving an opportunity to participate in this like a great event, sir. And the main uh, we want to know from this uh, what are the today's workshop because my four there are so many faculty members are. Published the patent, sir, but they are not able to know how to grant the patent. So I think my all faculty members, even my some of the students who are going to be doing some of the pro live projects, sir, and that we are uploaded for the MSME also. So they are in the line of acceptancy. After getting that, uh, our students are also going. Ten seconds, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Right, sir. Thank you, sir. R B V R S. A very good morning uh, to Professor Dhanshekaran, sir, and uh, all the mem members of the Menti Institution. I always, I also extend my warm welcome to uh, Mr. Jay Chandran, who is our guest for the session today, uh, sir. It has been uh, a matter of pride to be associated with. Uh, the uh, mic activities and we are slowly with the help of and with a lot of support from uh, the our mentor institution gnit we are able to organize several programs and uh, being a degree college though there are a lot of constraints we are still able to manage with a very good uh, ranking as of now score i mean uh, and uh, we are very happy to be a part of today's program i welcome jay chandran sir thank you sir thank you, you ma'am So once again, on behalf of Guru Nanak Institute of Technology and on my behalf of, I welcome our today resource person, Mr. Jay Chandran sir. Sir, please kindly share your knowledge. Yeah, thank you, sir. And a very good morning, everyone. And uh, thanks to uh, Dr. Dhanasekaran sir for providing this opportunity to arrange a knowledge sharing session, uh, because sharing things will also be a good development 
because what I know or what you know, if it is shared to others, that is also called development. And uh, I heard that there are five uh, institutions are joining here and uh, everybody has a different perception about uh, IPR and uh, different expectations regarding this IPR. So let me try to cover as much information as possible and as precisely and concisely as possible within this uh, given time because uh, we have got only one and a half hours. So I'll show you the uh, demo and portal visit, how to apply and what to do in uh, IPR filing, especially copyrights, trademarks and patent. So I'll try to cover as much things as possible within this uh, given time, right? So let us not waste our time and let us begin the session. Uh, let me present my screen. And as you all uh, said that uh, you attended many uh, seminars like IPR web workshops and other things. So you, uh, all aware of that what is the background of IPR and theoretical information about uh, IPR related topics. So what I'm going to do is I'll take just half an hour to uh, briefly tell you about IPR and uh, IPR uh, classifications and then we'll directly move to the uh, portal visit so that you can also file without any paying extra fee to others. Now people like me get uh, paid to file patent copyrights and trademark from others but giving this information to you all, you, you can uh, yourself file all the things uh, without any uh, paying extra amount to the uh, mediators like me. So uh, this is also one of the important thing which I would like to convey at this occasion, right? Uh, because if you approach uh, any external agency, uh, for example, if it is a copyright, copyright costs uh, just 500 rupees. If you approach any uh, external agency, they will cost you 10,000 rupees because to uh, know how much they get paid. I just uh, call two to three uh, external agency. When you type in Google, they will uh, give you some ID. So I approached them. One of the agency asked me 12,000 rupees for filing copyright. It is just a uh, 500 rupees matter. And for filing patent, uh, they will claim you around uh, one lakh rupees and trademark also they'll get 12,000 rupees. So this is uh, what I uh, got the information from some external agencies. So to overcome this barrier, this workshop will be helpful to uh, file your patent, copyrights, or trademark on your own self, right? So that is what the main intention of this uh, portal visit. Once you uh, see the visit, it may be a new to you, but once you uh, get into this, then you will get also uh, used to this particular area, right? So let me present my screen. So I'll take uh, just uh, 20 to 25 minutes or half an hour for the theoretical portion, and then we'll move to the uh, portal demo. I'll show you in... Uh, a portal demo how to file all these things and how does it look like everything will be shown in this particular workshop so let me present my screen i hope you can see my screen if not kindly let me know I hope you can see the screen. Yeah, yes, Jay Chandra. Yeah, thank you. thank you. Right, so first let us understand uh, what is IPR intellectual property, right? To understand more about IPR, let yeah. us take what is uh, physical property so that we can differentiate intellectual property from physical property. So physical things means you can touch and feel the thing that is called physical. So the examples for physical property are your house is a physical property, your car, your gold, your land is a physical property. So how do you protect your physical property? Say for example, if it is a land, then how do you protect the land? Or what way you can claim that the land is yours? So there is a government registration document that tells you that you are the owner of the particular land, right? So if you are a owner of the particular land, then you can dig a tunnel, or if you want to build a building, or if you want to uh, cultivate, or whatever the things you want to do, you wish to do, you can do on the uh, physical property once it is protected. If it is not properly protected by the government or registration document, anybody can use this because it is a public property. If it is not uh, to a private property or it is not your property, then it is called public property. So anybody can use this. So to restrict others usage of your own property, whether it is a land or house, you need a, a documentation, which means that it should be protected by government. And that is what we have. A registration document, PATA, SITA, all these things will give you uh, protection to the particular land, right? In the same way, whatever the things which is created by your mind, they are called intellectual property, 
right? So intellectual things, it is related, related to the brain activities. So whatever the things which is created in your mind, they are called intellectual property. And the creation might be a new invention or it could be any uh, artistic work or it could be a, any design work or it could be a, any writing works. So all these things are a creation of a human uh, mind that cannot be uh, touched unless you put it into the paper or create as a product or project, right? So that is why they are called intellectual property related to your mind creation, right? According to the government, uh, intellectual properties are divided into different categories because our mind can uh, invent a new things, can uh, create a new innovations, or it can design uh, uh, unique designs, or it can write, a, uh, it can create a new musics. So all these things are creation of mind but they are not coming under a single idea. They divided into different categories. That is why we have a types of intellectual property. So now I hope you understood that physical property is, uh, uh, which means uh, protected by the registration document. In the same way, mind creation, they also protected by the government and they are called intellectual property rights. And once it is protected and once it is your own property, then you can use it as you wish, right? That is why we need to protect it. If you are not protecting your ideas or creation or innovation or invention, anybody can utilize this without uh, giving credit to the particular uh, creator, then anybody can uh, use this particular uh, property, your mind creation. So we need to protect under this uh, IP right or IPR, which means that intellectual property rights. If not, anybody can misuse your own inventions and the creations, right? So according to the government, uh, we have a uh, different classification for intellectual property rights. And uh, some of the words we might have often heard that they are uh, patents, copyrights, trademarks, and uh, trade secrets. And apart from that, we have a few other uh, intellectual property, but we mostly focus on these things. So first and foremost thing is, what is patent and what is copyright and what is trademark? So let us uh, understand why we need IPR. And uh, I'll, I may be uh, rushing up on theory parts because you've attended a lot of workshops. So I'll rush up the theory portion and we'll have a, a time on the portal list, okay? So why do we need IPR? As I said, that provides security and protection for your mind creations. And not only that, that will give you recognition as well as credit, right? Not only to you, but also to your family. You just take a Thomas Alva Edison. He invented an electrical bulb, but till now, we have been talking about Thomas Alva Edison for his invention. It is a recognition credit, not only to his, but his lineage also, uh, they are enjoying this credit. And not only with the credit, but also you can earn the profit. Earn the profit means others cannot uh, design this particular electric bulb and sell it unless the particular time period, okay? So only the inventor uh, can give rights to others or, or the inventor only can uh, earn the profit out of the mind creation that is called intellectual property right, okay? And when we have uh, protection on the uh, intellectual property things, we can have a more business growth. And not only that, by securing ideas that encourages others to create new ideas, because if it is not secure, nobody will reveal these ideas to others. So everything will be kept uh, sec uh, secret or secrecy if there is no protection. So we need some sort of protection to encourage more ideas and more innovation. And not only that, this is a pride to nation also, because whenever we talk about Thomas Alva Edison, of course, the country name U.S. also uh, along uh, with his name that comes. So it all uh, gives you uh, pride to the nation also. So these are the reasons or main reasons why do we need IPR? So why do we need IPR and uh, intellectual property rights? Right. So let me, uh, someone can hide this. If possible, you can hide this toolbar also. That may hide the content. Okay, if not, no problem. Okay, so uh, we I said that uh, intellectual property means it is a mind creation that is uh, protected or that should be protected by government law and that is called intellectual property rights. Then what are the classification? Patent, trademarks and copyright. Let us understand the difference between patent trademark and copyright and what are all the things coming under patent trademark and uh, copyright so first thing patent and who is it for patent is for inventor who is inventing new things right so this is for awarding sold rights or utilizing the invention so invention is uh, something a new thing 
or if it is already existing thing there is a development that occurs on the invention that is also considered as a invention i hope you understood so invention may be uh, finding new things or you can develop uh, some new or extra things on the existing uh, products that also can be considered as a invention and in india uh, patent is given uh, solely for hardware components and hardware projects not for the software components then where the software comes that comes under copyright okay so for hardware components and hardware kind of uh, products or articles you develop that comes under the patent and they are called inventors and what it is trademark so trademark is uh, mostly for uh, uh, goods and services and for the business purposes mostly and who it is for it is for the brand apple is a brand reliance is a brand so why it is needed to differentiate products and services among competitors say for example apple is a, a cell phone company or reliance is a telecom company and if i use the same name for my telecom or my cell phone company it is an offense because apple is already an established brand company i cannot simply take that name for my cell phone company i cannot use the reliance name for uh, my own telecom industry so it is offense so it is a brand that should also be protected if it is not protected anybody can use the brand name because someone will uh, uh, strive a lot to get a, a good brand or a, or a good reputation for the brand name someone or others can simply take the name and put it for their company and they can do if it is not protected properly so for the goods and services and business purposes even apple tag names small phrases words even logo everything should be protected properly under the government law so if not protected then anybody can misuse the names or the logo or uh, short phrases what they use as a tag line all these things are uh, misused if it is not properly protected so these things coming under the trademark okay then what comes under copyright so copyright is for the innovation uh, coming from the mind it, the innovations are classified here or they are called creators okay what are the creations under this ipr rights it creation might be a music or it may be a, a, a articles or writing work or it may be a, a picture or art work or it may be a photographic work because nowadays you know uh, selfie a groupie are uh, very famous and they take in different uh, ways to give their innovation or creation so everything should be uh, protected under copyright law so songs musics books photos uh, artist uh, video works all these things coming under the copyright and as i said Uh, patent is not for the software so a uh, copyright will give you the uh, protection for softwares and the application what you develop okay so why it means that uh, coming under uh, copyright because uh, software is nothing but it is uh, running uh, with the help of some background codings right so codings are considered as a writing work or literary work so literary work coming under the copyrights because uh, patent is for only a hardware kind of uh, products and articles so copyright is Uh, for the literary work software is running with the help of a background codings so those codings are nothing but a simple a literary or writing works so they are coming under the copyrights okay so i hope i made it clear so patent is for purely machines technologies hardware related components and trademark is for goods and services it includes logos uh, short phrases brand names all these things and copyright is for softwares apps books what you develop or artistic work or photographic painting work everything coming under the uh, copyright so these are all the main difference uh, created by the government ipr yeah so uh, we all know that there are two types of uh, important patents in india one is utility patent the other one is uh, design patent uh, utility patent uh, we know that it is uh, purely for functionality of the invention and design patent is for the outlook of the uh, innovation or uh, invention say for example you are designing an engine how the engine works that is coming under utility patent and how the engine looks like that is coming under the design patent okay and uh, there is no plant patent uh, in india so we have only utility and uh, design patent and design patent is uh, solely judged by the uh, bare eyes just by looking how it looks different from the other uh, engine design that is nothing but your uh, design pattern only for the outlook of the uh, design you can see uh, different types of bottles water bottles different type of cool drinks bottles the bottle shapes and looks they are coming under the design pattern okay utility pattern means functionality of your invention how does it work in what way it is uh, unique or new things 
from the existing method that also considered as a utility patent. And we know validity is 20 years and you have to renewal every year uh, after the three years of grant and design patent is 10 years plus five years renewal, totally you'll get uh, 15 years. After this 20 years and 15 years, it is for the public use, which means anybody can use the idea to develop more ideas. Because if it is protected lifelong, nobody will create a new things with the help of uh, these uh, basic informations. So after 20 years or 15 years, this is for uh, public use, anybody can uh, use this. Yeah, so this is a simple example. Uh, though we protect many things, still there is a dispute happens between the companies knowingly or unknowingly. Uh, one of the important case which you see in the second portion, uh, Lucent and Microsoft. So uh, Lucent company, they developed uh, encoding and compression technology in the Windows media player. And it was allegedly said that uh, uh, Microsoft used the same technology, whether it is knowingly or unknowingly, but there is a controversy happened. And uh, for this controversy, uh, court ordered that uh, Microsoft should pay 1.5 billion to the Lucent for the uh, patent. Because uh, I, I mentioned that this is a software coding, right? So in US, they give a patent for softwares, but there is no patent uh, for software in India, but US started giving a patent for softwares under some uh, rules and regulations, right? But if you have a software along with the hardware components, combinedly you can uh, apply for a patent. There is no issues because you are going to write a claim, right? And the uh, patent is for only the claims, right? So combination of software in your hardware design, that is acceptable uh, under the examination concerns. And uh, for USA, they give uh, software under the patent category with their rules and regulations. And what cannot be patented and what is uh, patented, all this information uh, you all uh, encountered so many times in other workshops. So for time being, let me skip this slide. Right. And this is another important portion. So what are the forms one should fill to uh, file your patent? There are two ways you can apply. One is physical mode, which means through uh, applications, uh, hard copy, or you can use as a online mode. So to apply in online mode, you require e-signature or a digital signature. So digital signature certification is required for applying in online mode. I have got the, my digital signature certificate through which you have to register in the IP online uh, government.in site and then you can do all the process. And this DSC is applicable for patent, design patent, and for trademark. And DSC is not required for filing your copyright. So only for patent, design patent, and uh, uh, for trademarks, you require DSC for online method. And whenever you file in online, there is a 10 percentage of fees reduction in online mode compared to the offline mode. And uh, moreover, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm actually using only the online mode, not the offline mode, because I'm convenient with this online, that is why. If it is convenient to you, you can use the um, application form also to fill the things, right? So these are all the important forms one should file a uh, patent. So form one is an application uh, pattern which you want to file all the details. And form two is provisional on, and or complete specification. So provisional specification or complete specification, this is the same form, whether you are registering under provisionally or under a complete specification that you have to mention in the same form too, right? Nothing else. So provisional uh, registration means uh, if you are not developing everything completely, but still you want to protect your uh, inventions or claim, then you have you can register provisional. So provisional uh, duration is 12 months and within the 12 months, you have to give the complete specification. If not, this is not acceptable, okay? So provisional means say, for example, you got some idea, you want to protect it, before uh, developing the complete article, then you can go with this provisional. It means you can uh, register for 12 months and within this 12 months, you can give a complete specification to the patent office and the thing what you are uh, going to give as a claim in the complete specification that is already protected under this provisional act. Okay, so without any claim, you can uh, give provisional and after that uh, registration, you can give a complete specification uh, within the 12 months so that uh, that is also acceptable. It is protected some months uh, back itself. Okay, so both are under the same form. And three and five are just a statement of undertaking and declaration as to uh, inventorship. And this is a free form. There is no cost for this. Okay, and uh, the other important form is form 18 and form nine. So form nine is request for publication, which means that express publication. 
if you just uh, apply with the help of form 1 and form 2 form 3 form 5 you have to pay uh, 1600 rupees i'll show you that uh, cost also so 1600 rupees and if you want to add or if you want to get a quick publication which means you need to have a form 9 also so request for publication if it is desired it is not a compulsory one but these things are compulsory form 1 2 3 5 are compulsory but uh, form 9 is not compulsory but if you want quick publication you have to fill the form 9 also and so that your publication will be published uh, one month or 30 to 40 by days you will get uh, this publication okay and once the patent is uh, published then you have to request for examination if you are not requesting for examination the work will not be examined and it will not be uh, moved to the next stage right so form 9 is just for publication as sir uh, mentioned that uh, most of the things are in publication so to get your invention examined that you need to uh, apply a form 18 when you file the first form itself you can do all these things form 9 form 18 all these things but still uh, if you are uh, leaving this uh, publication alone then after uh, 48 months which means around uh, four years your application will be abandoned which means it will not be considered for the examination automatically so you want to file form 18 to get uh, your patent examined once the examination is uh, clear you will get a report report is called the first examination report and you want to reply to the first examination report and after that they will examine a satisfied means you may be moved to the next stage if not they will ask you the second examination report also so like that you want to uh, clarify the invention to the examiner so that we need a form 18 okay So again, the same thing uh, in terms of uh, cost. So form one cost 1,600 rupees uh, and form 18 examination is uh, 4,000 and form nine is optional, but it is uh, okay uh, for publication. So total cost of filing a patent 8,100 rupees. If you do not want a quick publication, then you can remove 2,500 rupees. It will take 18 months to publish. So you need to have 1,600 rupees alone to just file a patent, okay? And once you fill the form one, uh, pay 600, sorry, 1,600 rupees and leave it. After 18 months, that will automatically publish without this extra fees, okay? And after okay. publication, you want to uh, apply for form 18 also. If not, your patent is abandoned after 48 months. Okay, I hope I made it clear. Go and play with the system now. Stop, stop working. Keep the system properly and go. Yeah, so this is a simple uh, flow um time is 11 okay so this is a simple flow uh, how this uh, happens so whether you are provisionally registering or completely uh, registering your form so provisional form uh, will give you 12 months protection for the invention and after the 12 months you can give a complete specification also and publication happens after 18 months and uh, if you have form 9 then it costs 2500 and it will take around uh, 30 to 45 days of publication Instead of 18 months publication, you can have a one and a half month publication. And after this period, after the publication, you want to uh, request for examination within this 48 months. If not, the application is abandoned. And once it is done, you'll get a reply, first examination reply uh, between uh, 48 to 54 months, if it is in a regular process, something, right? So to get first examination report, it will take around six months to uh, nine months. Once you received first examination report, then you have to reply to the examiner. And if the examiner is satisfied, then it will be moved to the uh, grant state. If not, they will ask you the second examination report. And you have to reply for the second examination report also. Still, the examiner is not satisfied. There may be a virtual conference uh, between the inventor and the examiner to clarify the invention. So this happens very uh, rare case, but mostly uh, if your reply so the examiner is okay or fine, then it will be moved to the next stage, grand stage, okay? So for this, all we require is uh, 8,100 rupees, okay? And there is another option where we have a express uh, examination, but express examination cannot be uh, done with a, a simple or natural person. Uh, we need to have a form 18A to file a request for early examination. But here examination takes uh, around, uh, uh, six months to uh, one year to get first examination report. But if you file with the form 18A, then it is an early examination. You'll get first examination report within two months. 
it means within the period of publication you will get uh, the first examination report itself instead of 54 months which means uh, uh, around 5 years right so instead of doing that if you file this you can have a, a first examination report within 2 to 3 months and not a natural person can file this there is a lot of procedure and the rules for filing this uh, form 18a and according to that one can file form 18a also to get everything in a 3 months period approximately okay so this is about uh, flow of patent and the same things um, in a flow chart of ipr i'll i'll skip this for time being yeah so whatever it is uh, the first and foremost thing is we need to uh, search whether the patent is already available or not so this is the search site where you can uh, have a public search and there are a lot of private uh, organization also there if you give your abstract or uh, title or what related or your invention they will search uh, entire things uh, through private organization and they will cost for that also and they will provide you a report whether your invention or your claim is different from the other things right if you are not ready to pay to the external agency then you can have a public search over here and this public search is not 100% accurate search because uh, there is there may be a direct title on what you are uh, developing but there are other titles people or uh, inventors like uh, others now they will give you titles in a different way instead of giving a direct uh, a ballpoint pen they may give you a, a, a plastic stick which contains uh, some ink a blue ink or red ink and which has a closer and that has a, a spring all these type of information instead of giving a direct name they may give you a indirect name so that your application uh, will be rejected if there is already existing uh, claim in that particular uh, area right so we need to be a uh, little more careful while we search and this is the public search site if you click it you will be directed to this area this can be yeah so this is your public search area where you can search either it is a if you want to know published work or if you want to know granted work then you can search with the help of these two options so let me take just uh, uh, granted and i'll put some name iot and scroll down here and type this captcha i hope i written correctly and search you will get this one so what are the titles they have this particular word iot what you have given there all the titles will appear like this and if you want to narrow down your search still you can have say for example iot based with a double colon 44 Yeah. You see, you can narrow down the search also. It means we have given IoT based. So whatever the word given in the double quotation, those things will be appear in a title. It may be anywhere. So based over here, IoT is over here, and we have got uh, IoT based here. So like that, IoT is here and based is here. So like that, whatever the word you have given in the double quotation, then that will uh, give you if. it is available in the particular article title then it will appear if not then it is not appearing okay and to uh, narrow down your search there is a option you can see here help option where you can uh, narrow down your search like if you give a star star then you will get only the word uh, one after another authentication based means the title should have authentication based so like that you can narrow down Uh, your search with the help of this information so you can go and uh, have your search uh, with the help of these informations uh, when you get a free time so that you can narrow down uh, your search and then you can see the things okay so this is for uh, public search not a patent application okay this is a portal where you can have a public search in google also you can just type ip or uh, patent search that will give you this public search okay so this is the portal where you want to search your uh, application and if you know patent uh, numbers then you can put it over here to see the status or patent application number if you know you can see uh, over here you can apply over here 
and type the code and that will show the status of the application and here is the help where you can narrow down your search yeah so this is about uh, pattern search i'll show you ipr portal also a little later right? the next one is a uh, trademark so trademark as i mentioned in the previous slide or early slide that it is for uh, business purposes and goods and services and what are all coming under this trademark is your logo can be protected your brand name can be protected your slogan can be protected uh, which means it restricts a third party usage or misusage of your own uh, uh, design or logo or slogan okay and the validity for trademark is 10 years and you can renew um, every year so that it will be there as long as we use this yeah so these are all the simple examples for trademark so the name nestle is a word mark and they produce a lot of products like uh, chocolates noodles so they are called uh, product marks or word mark and service mark google is a service mark hotel is a service uh, service means it provides a service to others right uh, if for example uh, if it is a hotel management uh, they are serving food or temporary accommodation to others it is kind of service they have divided uh, goods under some classes and uh, service under some classes so google uh, hotel managements and social service education policies they are coming under the service uh, mark so if you want to register uh, your name under uh, the particular service then you have to choose the class uh, carefully and the next one is collective mark so collective mark is given for a group of people uh, climbing the same for example uh, anil ambani groups so there are group of people climbing this particular symbol so they are called collective mark and certification is mark uh, that provides certification like iso isi all these things coming under the certification mark shape mark as i said it is a shape of the bottle shape of the phone shape of the anything okay that is called shape marks and sound mark is also there sound mark is nothing but the nokia tone when you uh, switch on your nokia you'll get tan 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 that sound is a, a protected one that is a nokia tone no others can use this particular tune uh, unless the proper permission from the uh, composer or the owner of the particular tune and the similarly mgm sound also the roaring sound appears whenever there is a, a movie starting point this particular sound will appear that is also protected which means that no others can use this particular and not only that there is a other mark uh, under the trademark which is called the series mark series mark means you can see uh, there is a mcdonald products they all start with mc 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 so they are called series mark after this mc mc word the other mc chicken uh, mc cold drinks so mc toast these things coming you know they are, they are called a series mark so they all are protected under trademark category okay if not anybody can use this name google if i develop a website i can use google simply without any permission so it should be protected right if not people will get confused which one is original google which one is original nestle no because nestle it is a brand they uh, strive for a lot of years to develop a brand name simply i use for my own chocolate then it is an offense so we need to protect this and not only that but also Uh, we have a logo right this is an apple logo and along with this logo you have a tag line which is called think different for coca cola open happiness and for fruity mango fruity fresh and juicy thumbs up taste the thunder all these things are protected under uh, trademark they are called uh, tag lines okay short phrases tag lines words coming under the trademark category so all these things are protected if not anybody can use the taste the thunder word I, if i if i uh, develop a cold drinks company a local company it may be a lemon juice company then i can use uh, take my lemon juice taste the thunder if i cannot use this because it is protected and it should be protected if it is a goods and services or any business purposes if not people others like me can use uh, the others tagline others innovations others creation the logo is a creation right the style of coca cola is a creation style of the bottle is a creation tagline is a creation think different taste the thunder all these things are creation of your mind so it should be protected and not only that but also we have unconventional trademarks that is called the color marks which means uh, red and uh, yellow they are the mcdonald's color others cannot use this color combo also and packaging also coming under the trademark and smell trademark also nowadays uh, growing 
because different perfumes they develop different smells others cannot copy the smell also they are also protected under uh, smell or trademarks and shape of the goods as i mentioned earlier there are different plenty of shapes available others cannot use my own shape if it is protected under trademark law okay yeah so when you uh, file a trademark so these things will appear so word mark device mark color mark shape of the goods sound marks and the three dimensional marks so if you want to uh, file your own company uh, then it should be coming under these categories so what comes under word mark so word mark means the apple google easelords tata thickness kfc ndtv all these things are called uh, word marks so words coming under the word mark category and device mark the logo combination of words and logo pictures and drawing they are coming under the device mark so device means it is for logo and uh, tagline along with the logo and color mark as i said is a color combination shape of the goods shape of the goods like a coca cola bottle apple iphone and other shapes even um, uh, the shape of the bottles shape of the anything right water bottle to any bottles everything can be uh, coming under the uh, shape of the goods and sound mark uh, just as i said composed uh, sounds or musical notes they are coming under sound mark and three dimensional mark is also there so under these things when you file your trademark in online uh, there are six uh, categories will appear you want to file in any one of the category right i'll show you how to file this in trademark site so before that we need to understand uh, trademark classes okay so what is class so trademark class classes are nothing but uh, for example you are developing a shampoo company then it should coming under the particular class or if you are developing a social service company it should coming under the particular class right if you uh, for example you are uh, developing a uh, telecom company but you are not registering your uh, name reliance name in telecom company but you are registering in a uh, for example it is a, if it is a petroleum company but you are not registering the reliance name under the petroleum class instead of that you are registering in 45 like service classes then anybody can use the name reliance in the petroleum class okay so you need to be very careful under which class you are registering i hope i made it clear so once again i'll tell you uh, you are designing uh, anything you are creating anything or doing any business uh, petroleum uh, class means it should be coming under the petroleum class if you are registering the name under some other class but you are doing a petroleum business others can use the same name under the petroleum class there is no restriction of usage in the different class apple is a cell phone company okay uh, but i can use the same name in different classes there is no issues at all but in the same class same name cannot be used that is the important thing so if you want to or if you have an idea of developing uh, many products in future then instead of filing your things in a single class you can go with a multi class okay for example i am doing petroleum business i am doing uh, clothing business i am doing telecom business so it means that you need to uh, register the particular tag name or the brand name in all the categories if not others can uh, have a liberty to use your name in the different uh, classes where your name is not registered properly okay and the cost of the trademark application is 4500 in online method but if you want to have two or more classes then every class will cost uh, 4500 say for example if it is a two class then you have to pay 9000 rupees for filing this okay so let me click this for you can google it a uh, type of uh, trademark classes in india you will be uh, redirected to this particular area where you can see different types of classes as i mentioned yeah so there are 45 classes available and among this 45 34 are divided for uh, goods and services sorry goods is and uh, the other classes is for services so what do you mean services so services like advertisement a business and office functions insurance is a service for a better understanding you can take the word insurance and you can have a repairing type of companies or building constructions telecom is a service company we are providing training education entertainment sports cultural activities they are coming under the service and legal services like uh, we do ipo services they are coming under this uh, spotify so like this servicing or providing drink 
and the temporary accommodation hotels they all are coming under the service category okay so it should be properly uh, registered under this category okay and like that you can have class 1 to uh, for example let us take class 2 class 2 is for paint varnishes related type of uh, materials and you can take some other uh, class like class 27 is for carpet mats matting all these things and 25 is for clothing footwear headgear and all things and if you want uh, or if you're developing any alcoholic uh, beverages except beers then it should be 33 or if you are a company is a coffee tea sugar uh, then it should be coming under class 30 why i'm telling that it should be properly uh, registered because if you type um, or if you register your you are developing a tea company but you are registering your class under 33 then uh, nobody can restrict usage of your name under class 30 right but it's a three roses then it should be prote uh, protected under class 3 not class 33 if you protect under class 33 the name brand name three roses then i can use the three roses in class 30 by developing coffee products that cannot be uh, that cannot be restricted so other classes there is a liberty uh, that appears uh, in trademark where you can use other classes, the same brand name, nothing issues. So this is all about uh, uh, classes of your uh, trademarks. Yes. And the other important thing is, uh, if there is a rejection happens and you're filing uh, different classes, then everything will be wholly rejected. So you can either file uh, all together or uh, one by one, no issues. But you are developing a new products or many products with the same company name, then you can file in different uh, classes. So this is how one can uh, uh, check the status of the trademark. So where there are two search, one is public search, another one is a trademark search. And if you have a registration uh, number like this application number, you can use this link or just a public search, you can click the public search. You can Google it, type public search for trademark, then that will uh, give you the link this link but this is where you are going to check your uh, status or the name is already available or not so for time being i'll take contains start with means it will start only with that particular word contains means it could be anywhere in the sentence say for example and you are taking nippon So contains, you type anything. So for example, Asian paint, Nippon paint. So all these things. So paint is class two. You can search. So you need to provide class name and the brand name to check whether your name is already available in trademark uh, protection or not. That is what. <coughs> it's a bit slow here. So that will give you the result whether the name as CN Paint or available or not. That is what. Yeah, you got this. You see all the things ACN Paints protected by ACN Paints Limited, ACN Paints Utsau protected by ACN Paints Limited, ACN Paints Utsau protected by. So all these things you can see this. So you you have different uh, if you want to different uh, trademark names then within the same class then you have to go with that also so initially you saw that there is an asian paints protected by <laughs> asian paints limited and there is other category asian paint Utsu also uh, owned by the same company okay? so if you want different names under the same uh, class then you have to file in the trademark also so to look at the details of this you can click this. So, uh, is the top. Yeah, show the details. That will appear in the right side window. I think myself, the system is a little bit slow.
So this area that will give you the details of this particular application. And if you want to um, see some other name, for example, my logo is Zlot and my class is 41. 41 is for services. So education, providing, training, entertainment. If you're running such a uh, company or forum, then you can use this and search it. And this will appear like this. And click this, click show details. You can see this. There is a, yeah, this also the result of Asian paints. <clears throat> so they protected Asian paints under goods and services. Like what are all the uh, things coming under this? Paints, liquids, varnishes, all these things coming under the class two. So you can add the things also here, okay? So it is 11.30, so let me wash up things. So like that, you can search your name and see the details. And if you know the application number, you can go with the other link also, as I uh, shown in this PPT, right, this link, where you can see with the help of this application number and see the status, or if there is uh, no particular name is available in the particular class where you want to register your company name, then you can uh, freely go with that. But still, there are some ground refusals also available. Like there are some restricted uh, or pro prohibited uh, trademarks available. If you go to the uh, trademark site, you can see this one, prohibited trademarks. It means that Gandhi, that particular name is a pro prohibited name, which means others should not use the pure name Gandhi. Okay, uh, Like that, we, we have some uh, protected or prohibited trademarks also. You cannot use Balaji directly. Like that, they have given, you cannot use ISO directly. So like that, there are prohibited uh, trademarks. If you use this, then your application will be refused without any uh, further consideration because it is a ground refusals. And apart from this ground refusals, we have different things where your application get rejected. So that is a theoretical portion. I do not want to uh, continue that theoretical portion right now because the main intention is to show you a portal demo, that is why. So there is a ground refusal, why your trademark is not uh, uh, going to appear, all these things also available. So uh, we'll have one more session if time permits and uh, we'll look into that, how to see the things. <clears throat> so once you're filing your trademark application, then you can start use this particular symbol TM. So TM can be used once you filed the application, as long as it is in process. And once it is registered, you can use R symbol over here, okay? And you can see TM is here. Winners don't do different things. They do things differently. It is applied and you can win as a registered. So this taken two to three years back. So it is still, I'm using TM mark to differentiate why, what is TM and R. It may be registered now, right? You can check that in different classes. But still we protect people misuse. Uh, we know the famous issue happened in Tamil Nadu, Talapakati name. You know, Dindika Talapakati is the original Talapakati, but Chennai brand also, they used the same name, but the court ordered that Chennai Talapakati is not an original name. It is a copy of the Dindika Talapakati. So they stopped using this Talapakati name in the uh, Chennai branch because Talapakati is a famous name. They worked a lot to develop a, a brand Talapakati, Dindika Talapakati Biryani. Simply I uh, start a Biryani shop and I cannot keep Talapakati name for my shop. It is an offense because I am stealing others work, others hard work, you know, that is why. So it is protected, okay? So as I said, uh, this can be applied in online mode because I'm convenient with online mode with the help of uh, digital signature, you want to uh, register here and you can uh, search over here uh, to see how, the things are appearing in the trademark and this is the flow um I, I'll, I'll skip this flow also because we have only hardly half an hour yeah so the next one is uh, copyright so once i finish this i'll show you the portal visit so what is copyright and who gets copyright and what can be protected under uh, copyright so copyright rights are given to literary work literary means it is a writing works right dramatic work means it is a story type of writing work musical work, artistic work, producers, uh, cinemographic films, and sound recordings. They are coming under the copyright, okay? So these are all the uh, things can be protected under copyright. And not only that, but also you have a computer generated work. So computer generated work, it may be a software, or it may be an application developed, 
whatever it is that can be uh, protected under this particular law. And validity of uh, uh, copyright is lifetime of author. And after the death also, we have a uh, 60 years of uh, production. Yeah. So this is the processing examiner's point of view. Now we can skip this. So how you will be called and what way you have to register. If it is a literary dramatic work, then it should be coming under author category. If it is a music work, then composer category. Cinemographic, sound recording, it should be a producer category. And photographic, photographer category. And these are all some uh, cases. Uh, still, uh, the thing is protected, but some people knowingly or unknowingly, they misuse this issue. And the famous issue happened in Tamil Nadu between Ilai Raja and SPB. Ilai Raja claimed that SPB without his permission, uh, SPB performs and uh, earn money uh, through his music. And uh, um, the dispute was uh, settled down, um, but now, but uh, still it was the famous issue uh, coming under the musical uh, infringement. There is a technical word which is called infringement for uh, violating the copyrights. Right. So this is one of the issues and this is an artistic issue. The movie used the uh, Mike Tyson logo over here, but the court ordered to remove this uh, by using some computer graphics. But if you look at this movie, Hangover movie, the same logo will not be there because it is uh, created for Mike Tyson by some victim. Okay. So like that, there are cases. This is a photographic infringement, which means this is the original photographic and some company used the same photographic as a different model that also coming under the copyright infringement that also protected and removed. And whenever we have a new release, someone claimed that it is their story. So coming under the literary infringement or dramatic infringement, all these things. And this is all in uh, one where the bottle is a design patent. Okay. And the cool things is a design, uh, sorry, a trade secret, whereas a formula, chemical formula is there. And trademark is nothing but your, uh, the brand name Coca-Cola is a trademark. And the design, uh, the Coca-Cola style and the, the artistic work coming under the copyright category. So this is all in one uh, to understand IPRs. So this is again the same. And being a faculty or a student, uh, these are the things can be uh, copyrighted. Your books, lab manuals, question banks, anchoring scripts, stories, developed apps, lecture materials, thesis, or any softwares or any creative literary works can be uh, protected under copyrights. So as I said, applications and website also can be copyrighted. And as far as website concerned, website contains many things, literary work, photographic work, and uh, artistic work, sounds and other things. So everything should be uh, filed in a different category. There is no single copyright for the whole website. Everything is a different thing. And this is for application, app development. It is also a coding. So coding coming under the literary category. So through that, you can uh, file this app also. So all these things are uh, theoretical questions. So I'm just skipping them. And there is an important uh, thing, which is called uh, copyright fair use. Not only in copyright, but also in trademark also, there is a copyright fair use, trademark fair use. Fair use means, uh, say, for example, you are, you are writing a book and that is protected under copyright law, but you cannot say that other colleges, other schools uh, should not use my materials in their college. It is not the case. That is called concept of fair use. If you are a teacher uh, working in an organization, you can get any books, any uh, materials. You can have either a soft copy or a hard copy. You can scan it and forward to student for the study purposes, or you can use it for the research works. All these things are permitted under Indian uh, copyright law. That is called fair use. So I write a book and if you want to give that book copy to your student, you can still uh, scan and put it in the, what is that called, Google Classroom or anything for the student's reference. It is allowable. But you are giving the book into the Xerox shop, asking the students to go and uh, take Xerox by paying 50 rupees, 100 rupees, then it is offense. So as long as it is between faculty or teacher and the student, and non-profit um, communication, then it is accepted. And that is called the concept of fair use. And the like trademark, no, you can have a, a liberty to criticize, uh, a review the trademark things. All these things are accepted. That is what they are doing in the um, YouTubes. No? Everybody started channel and they have started reviewing the movies and other things. No? That is not uh, coming under the infringement. That is called fair use. 
Okay, so this is the copyright uh, <clears throat> website where you can uh, file your copyright uh, without any external third party. You can just file and get the copyright over here. I'll show you this in a moment. So for literary, dramatic, musical work, the cost is 500 rupees and you are using the same work for the business purposes, then it is 2000 rupees. And similarly, um, the other things, if you want to change the application, any particular changes, then it should be 200 and uh, 1000. And for cinematographic work, it has 5,000 rupees. So this is the flow uh, where one can file the copyright. So once you file the copyright, you'll be, uh, once you paid the amount, you'll be given a diary number. That is a unique number for your application. And there is a 30 days mandatory waiting for objection. If there is any objection, they will send you the objection letter. If there is no objection, that will be going to the next stage, which is called uh, scrutiny by the examiner. Okay, and when there is an objection, they will send letter to both party and they will get a reply from both parties and they will decide that uh, the workers belongs to whom. Okay, and after this uh, workers belongs to whom, they will come to the application acceptor stage. And there is no uh, objection from anybody else for the 30 days, then it comes to the uh, right side where the next stage is scrutiny by the examiner. And if there is any discrepancy found in your application, and then that will go to the discrepancy letter and you have to reply to the discrepancy and you have to clear the discrepancy and once it is cleared or there is no discrepancy then it will come down directly to the approval stage and once it is approval the next stage is uh, registration okay and if the application is rejected then they will send you a rejection letter also and if application is um, approved then they will give you an extract with the copyright seal and uh, the other informations uh, with the certification to the particular person or a group of people, right? They can claim this one, right? right. So before uh, going to the portal, um, if you want any webinar or free advice related to IPR or I'm an academician too, if you want any uh, latex kind of workshop, you can contact me. This is my WhatsApp number and my mail ID. So let me go to the portal visit. First, let me take, so you can simply type copyright India in Google that will give you copyright office. So this is the copyright website where you can see this area e-filing of copyright application. So click registration of copyright form 14. And you have to, if you are a new user, come down here, uh, click here for new user registration over here. And this is just like uh, creating a Facebook account, Twitter account, giving your first name, second name, uh, city, nationality, phone number, where you can create user ID, password, and confirm the password and submit so that you will have a user ID and password. And since I have already created this, I'm going back home. And I'll show you how does the portal looks like. So this is the portal where you can see some of my work. I have applied for a computer software and the status of the software is re-scrutiny. And there is another category which I have given in under uh, literary dramatic. And to show you, I have given uh, in a pending discrepancy reply, which means you need to reply for the discrepancy. If you want to see the registered work, you can click here and see some registered work. This is one of my accounts. So other accounts have the other information registered work where you can see literary dramatic work and uh, the work of the status of the work is registered. So here is for literary and this is your ROC number. I said no in the flow chart. So this is your ROC number for the reference. So how to file your copyright? Then this is the area, e-filing of application. Then click here, e-filing of application, scroll down. Yeah, click here for online copyright registration. So there are four steps, step one, step two, step three. The most important step is the second step, statement of particulars. And third step is uh, simple and fourth step is only payment. And first step is your communication address alone, nothing else. So for example, I'll put simple name and 
my company name sir excuse me sir we are yeah. unable to see the screen sir only oh. thanks is uh, i mean we can see that uh, picture only sorry ma'am we are unable to see the, see your screen sir which means uh, from where ma'am like you are showing something no sir like how to apply and all uh, that is not visible okay let me check ma'am yeah only thanks slide is uh, seen sir okay, here okay. yeah one minute ma'am i think i haven't shared this <laughs> Are you able to see this, ma'am? Now, sir, uh, the screen is not visible, sir. Okay. Yet. Now, let me show you. Now, ma'am. Yes, sir. It is seen, sir. Now. Okay. So, do you want me to repeat this copyright uh, no. site? No, no, sir. No, no, sir. Uh, you can continue from yeah. wherever you have stopped. You can continue from there. Thank That's you. Fine. Yeah, so you can Google it, Copyright India, and that will redirect to the copyright page. So this will be the page where you can go with this registration of copyright form 14. And if you are a new user, you can have a new user registration, creating an account for this. And I have already created an account. So I'll get into this, J-A-E-3-K-N-Q. -E Yeah, so this is the diary number which I showed in the flow chart. And uh, this is one of my copyrighted, I mean, uh, computer software work coming under the status of re scrutiny. And there is another literary work, dramatic work. It is in the re scrutiny work. And if you want to see registered work, you can click registered here. And you see the work is registered under literary and dramatic work. Okay. So you can see all the documents also over here. And uh, this is one of my accounts. So other accounts have uh, the other documents also. So how do you apply for copyrights? There is option e-filing of application. Click here. So click here for online copyright registration. Yeah, there are four steps, as I said. So second step is the most important thing. Fourth one is just a payment details. And three and first are very simple. First step is for just a communication address. So let me put my name and company details. Give accept, save, that will redirect to the second page. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the second page where you want to pay a little more attention than first step. So second step, name and address, nationality of the applicant. If it is same as communication address, what you have given in the first step, you can just click that, right? That will come as a name of the applicant, Indian, all these things. If you want to edit, you can edit it here, no issues, right? And application category, whether it is a business purposes or individual purposes. If it is a business purpose, then you, the cost of the literary work is 2000 rupees as I shown in the cost page. So for time being, let me put individual work. Individual means you can add the authors and applicants. There is no issues at all, right? So this is India and select any state and district. So let me put something. And if you want to add one more applicant, then you can give Just and add more. You'll get two applicants over here, right? Address and other things, right? So don't take these letters and other things literally. I've just given this for the understanding purpose. And then you want to uh, add your uh, signature over here. Upload your signature. So choose file and uh, go to your. Uh, Yeah. 
So choose file and upload your signature if you have any signature. So I'll use this. So right now my signature is missing. So instead of searching that, I have given some picture over here. Okay. So here you add your signature. And uh, third point is nature of the applicant's interest in copyright. As I said, under which category you are registering your uh, work, whether it is an author kind of work, or if it is a music composer work, or artistic work, then you have to uh, go through this. So for copyrights and uh, other informations, literary kind of work, dramatic kind of work, you can go the author category and then choose the class of work. So author is for a literary and dramatic work. So I click literary and dramatic work. If you want to describe, you can describe, otherwise you can go here because it is not starred one. So title of the work, you can give anything, for example, software. I'll just put software, okay. And choose the language. If it is English, you can choose English or any other language, you can choose any other language, no issues. But if it is a computer software, then the language is different. Language is the thing, uh, which means the under which language you have written your codings, C, C++, SQL, Python, that language should be here, okay? So if we are going under software category, then the entire work is like, Python or SQL or whatever the things that should be appeared here. So for time being and understanding, let me go with this author literary work. And then seventh one is uh, name, address, nationality of the author. If the author is deceased, then uh, date of his disease. So if it is same as applicant, you can click this, which means applicants and authors, they are same then you can uh, click this one. Or if you want to add one more author, you can add it here also. Add more. So applicants are two and authors are three for this uh, case, okay? So if there are uh, mismatching between author and applicant, then this one, author should give NOC, no objection certificate to the applicant in favor of this particular application because authors are three on only two applicants. So the third author should provide um, uh, NOC for or in favor of the two applicants. And if it is published to work, then click published to work, which means you already published, but not copyrighted. Then you have to provide those details. If it is uncopyrighted, I mean, unpublished work, then click unpublished work. Then some of the things will be disabled, right? Which means uh, if it is published means then you want to give the date year a name of the first publication or any subsequent publications, all these things should be given. If not, you can directly come to here. Name, address, nationality of the owners of the various rights comprising copyrights in the work. So to whom or others you want to give copyright rights only for applicants, you can give applicants or same as authors, you can give same as authors or if it is any publisher involved, you can give because that should be changed in the first option itself. So if you give full rights to applicant as well as author, then you can click both applicant or author. Or if you want anybody over here, along with applicant and author, the fourth person also will get rights to do whatever the things they want. Various rights comprising in the copyright work held by each. So everybody has equal rights, which means you have given rights to all the others, four members, okay? And 12th one is name addresses nationality of other person. If any authorized to assign the license, uh, this one, which means apart from this one, the 11th one, if you are giving extra to others, then you can click the 12th or else you can just give not applicable also. There is no issues. And 13, 14, 15, 16, all are for artistic work. Okay. So for literary and dramatic work, you no need to touch this artistic work. So just come down and save the button. If the image is taken, then it will be moved to the next step. Yeah. So, so kindly use your signature, not the photo. For time being, I used that. And the third one is very simple. Is the work to be registered is a original work. If it is yes, 
then all other options will be disabled. If it is not original work, it means that you have adapted the work or you are translating work of someone else. Then it, the details of those things should be given over here. But if it is a new thing, your own uh, writings or your own uh, software, copyrights, whatever it is, then you can click original work is yes. Then all other things will be disabled. Just click save. You okay. And it will be moved to the fourth step. Fourth step is, as I said, it is just a payment step. You can give payment. It is a matter of 500 rupees. Just make payment. And it will give you the portal for payment. And once you paid, you will be redirected to the next page. Okay. So this is a payment method like what you do uh, in a banking or a debit card, credit card, whatever it is. You can uh, pay. Right. It is uh, 500 rupees. You can use any gateway method. And you have a net banking, debit cards, credit cards, UPI, all these things. Okay. Through that, you can pay this amount. Okay. So right now, I'm not going to pay the amount. So let me go back to the home screen. It will ask me to re enter into this. No, sorry, I went to do this. So, Copyright India, Copyright Office. Right. So, once you filed and paid the amount, the next step is uh, the important thing is you want to upload your work in the portal itself. And where do you upload? I'll show you that also. And once you upload, it is not the end of the application. You want to take printout of your two copies, and then you have to courier uh, that copy to the Delhi copyright office. See where you can see upload your work and documents. Click here. And since um, right now I do not have any work uh, waiting here, if you are no applied uh, work, then that appeared work will be here. Then you can click and upload your documents. Document means it will accept Word document and PDF document of your work whether it is a literary work or a dramatic work or a artistic work or a computer software codings, everything uh, should be uh, uploaded over here, right? So once you upload it, then the uploaded work will appear at this location, okay? And after 30 days, the status will be moved to the uh, scrutiny state. So once the scrutiny uh, is done, then you will be uh, given any discrepancy. For example, I'll click here, upload discrepancy reply. Since I haven't uploaded discrepancy for uh, one of my work to show others how it looks like, I have left this. So this is a discrepancy reply. And where you can see a discrepancy letter also. Yeah, you see here. Uh, further classification is required with respect to the following. With respect to the following, which means what discrepancy? Column five does not indicate the title of the work and not match with the title of the work appeared in the work itself. So what mistake I have done, you know, uh, I have given title list engineering practices lab manual of ECE in application, but the PDF, what I sent or what I uploaded, that does not have this particular top title, which means there is a mismatch. So they asked me the discrepancy, but I did not clear the discrepancy to show others. And it will be, and uh, there is a warning mail also I received that uh, this is the last chance to remove your discrepancy, but I still uh, left it for uh, uh, showing others. Okay. So once you uh, got this, you, you can have a diary number and click the diary number and we can go here status of the application and put it here and click view status. Still loading. And that will show you the status, whether it is a scrutiny or registered work or approved work or any kind of status you can see over here. Okay. And you can see any uh, pending form over here. Pending form means you have uh, completed the four steps but not paid. So all these things, these are all the my presentations uh, I've given to others. So all these things are incompleted work. You can see over here like this and checklist. So all other information you can uh, get over here. And uh, let me go to my site to show you what to courier to the Delhi office.
so uh, as far as the courier concern so once the online concern is over which means uh, you filed uh, your application four step completed and paid amount and the second thing is you uploaded your work and the next thing is you want to um, what is that called uh, you want to uh, courier two things one is your uploaded work right that work along with once you paid the amount that will be uh, redirected to the uh, screen what you uh, see here where you can see acknowledgement letter and the full form of your application so that also should be downloaded to send along with the uh, two copies of your work i hope you understand right uh, once you paid that will be redirected to this page and in this page you will see uh, two uh, uh, button one is called acknowledgement letter the other one is a complete form you want to download that acknowledgement slip as well as the complete form and all the applicant should sign in the form to uh, send it to the uh, delhi office along with the two copies of your work once it is done once the application is reached to the government office uh, delhi to a corporate office then there will be a uh, uh, 30 days of mandatory period and you have to wait for 30 days till then your status will be waiting and once the waiting period is over the status will be changed to scrutiny scrutiny to re scrutiny and then uh, approval and then uh, finally registered in between if there is any discrepancy they will uh, mail you or you can check over here if they will uh, put a, a column over here which means the status is pending discrepancy reply and you can see what is the uh, discrepancy by clicking this upload discrepancy letter like this and you can click and submit and upload the discrepancy to clear the discrepancy within 15 days but it is not the 15 days they will give you uh, a lot more time to clear your discrepancy because still i receive mail from corporate office to clear my discrepancy okay so this is all about uh, uh, copyright and uh, other informations so sometimes this is uh, slow and that's why i don't get any status over here so you'll get a green plus status over here whether it is a registered work or unregistered work other things <clears throat> but right now i am not getting anything over here uh, due to the server or my internet problem okay so as i said no this location will have a acknowledgement letter and this location will have a complete form you have to download and all the applicant should sign and if applicant and authors are different author should give noc to the applicant uh, for this particular uh, copyright okay so this is all about uh, copyrights and if you have any doubt you can ask me or else i'll uh, uh, if i have a time i'll show you the next two portal also ganeshayan uh, sir your call thank you sir thank you sir for your yeah. wonderful session yeah, i request you want to... me to uh, show the trademarks and patent uh, portal or uh... yes sir yes sir the time permits now we can show or else uh, no problem okay Yes, sir. Show it, sir. We'll be getting some ideas, sir. Yeah, fine. Thank you. Because I am willing to show because the only thing is time. Time is the biggest problem. Yes, so sir. if you uh, go to Google and or else you can go to the patent gateway. If you type it in Google, you can will be directed to the e gateway intellectual property. If you click that website. you will be taken to this particular area that right. where you can see all type of e filing things so comprehensive e filing e filing trademarks e filing design patent e filing geographical indication or e filing patents and here also you can see public search which means patent public search trademark search design search or any other patent uh, electronic register search and status also you can see here like patent status if you have application number design patent application number trademarks all these things can be uh, done here and other portal exclusive for patent only patent uh, utility patent and design patent so this is the site where you can access all the uh, e gateway or e filing except copyrights so where there is no uh, copyright site here so you can directly google it and you can check the thing also so for now let me take e filing of patent and e filing of trademark and with that we'll uh, close things so i have already created an account so 
so we need to be careful in this particular word d and the g yeah so this is your e filing of patent so this is the patent utility patent not design patent okay so this is utility patent where you can see the different types of forms and all forms new applications all things and form history payment submissions all these things so if you want to file application then click new application over here so for this you require a digital signature as i said uh, once you uh, register your digital signature in the patent uh, site then you will be able to access directly with the login and password so this is your uh, patent application so where you can see type of application uh, conventional application means if you want to have any other country application you can go if not you can directly click ordinary application and type of specification as i mentioned in the ppt uh, whether it is a provisional or complete you can give provisional or complete and then you want to uh, provide the information related to complete specification how many pages are here and how many claims you are uh, uh, claiming for your uh, patent and number of pages for the claim and abstract number of drawings and uh, sorry number of pages and number of drawing so how many drawings are there and uh, how many pages it occupied all these things uh, should be uh, filled over here and then give your title of invention address for service they will communicate only to this particular address right and you we provide a proper mail id and the phone number because they will send you a message also your publication your patent is uh, published or your application is filed because i received all this information to my uh, phone number and give a proper mail id also if there is any information they will communicate to the mail also and uh, provide your abstract and the description of your complete specification and the claims how many claims if it is five claims type five claims over here and then so since um, um i'm using my own digital signature this is automatically will be there my name my address my mail id everything but if i want to add more applicant i can add it so along for example it it costs 8100 rupees means i can add one or two people so that i can share the money also by adding them as a second and the third applicant that is uh, no issues and if you want inventors you can add inventor also by clicking this inventor is female means you can give female and give any name nationality and address country should be india because this is an ordinary application and if it is a starred one you can give otherwise you can just leave it and state district they are not starred here so inventor city let me put if you click the state oh sorry district ah. yeah now you can see applicant is different and inventors are different that can be possible right the important thing is whoever comes in applicant they are the sole owner of the patent what you find inventors they are just working for the applicant so in uh, applicants it is not necessary that you, you should be a natural person it could be any company name also but in inventors there might be a natural person names which means that these natural persons they work for this particular company on the particular product so which means that they get paid for the patent and uh, patent is owned by the applicants and you can add uh, if you if uh, inventors and applicants are uh, same you can click this then you will get this one so like that uh, you can add or remove your uh, inventors applicants all these things and once you complete your applicant details and inventors details scroll down you can see form 9 and form 18 
form 9 is for quick publication form 18 for your examination okay and save upload and once you completed this application you have to okay please select the state for address of the service okay we just filled the form uh, just like that so that shows an error and so once the application is completely filled like applicants and other proper informations in this box address for communication then you have to upload the work uh, upload the work means you need to upload uh, the application what you uh, file as a complete or provisional application that is one um, word document other one is the claim document the other one is abstract document the other one is drawing document so there are four pages which means the four documents should be uploaded in the upload page so for that you need to complete all these things okay but time being i didn't do this certify it shows that uh, it requires address for service once you upload this then you want to pay the amount so paying the amount is in the different page so you can see here payment and submission and make payment and if you complete the application uploaded the documents then this will be enabled make payment option will be enabled if not nothing will come here okay and i have some of my payment history to show you yeah so these are my patent applications where you can see i have filed uh, two different applications one is with the examination report the other one is without examination report so that you can understand so i have paid only 2500 for publication alone and 1600 for uh, my application form 1 and for the second case i have filed form 1 and examination report 4000 rupees along with 2500 for quick publication so so this is how the uh, forms will appear and where you can pay your uh, amount also and if there is any discrepancy you will get that into uh, mail then you can have this option reply to examination report over here and where you can uh, reply your examination okay by selecting what type of uh, whether it is opposition or if it is a first examination report response so all these things can be uh, selected over here and give your application number and submit and where you can upload your uh, uh, first examination report also so this is all about your uh, Uh, patent uh, website okay and uh, if you go to trademark let us go to e gateway and uh, e filing trademark so there are two options whether you can use password or you can use digital signature but for time being i'll use password So when you look at this first time, it may be a little uh, different, but once you get used to it, this will be easy. You can up, you can access this just like a Gmail, Facebook, WhatsApp, other things. That is why. So for trademark, I'll take only few payments and I'll finish up. No problem. So for trademark, we have a new file over here. So file trademark application and. Uh, select the type of applicant whether it is a individual or a startup company or enterprises others i choose individual and you can see trademark uh, application or conventional application conventional is again other country applications and if it is a single class or multi class if you click multi class which means you are uh, filing your patent in different classes that will automatically take 99 because 99 is uh, standard for multi class application okay and if it is a collective mark then you can click Uh, collective mark if it is a certification mark we can click certification mark a uh, certification mark in different classes like that you can uh, choose whichever you want so for time being i'll take a trademark application with for example class number 41 which i already did it so you have to choose the class properly fine so this is the site where you can complete your uh, application so this is the code number created temporary code number and uh, name and the date and you can edit the things which you want to edit something here or add new proprietor 
and this is the address for service. Since I use digital signature, it is already taken over here. And the important portion is here, trademark. So if it is a word mark, then click word mark. If it is a logo or logo with the tagline, then go to the device mark. Okay. So device mark means you want to upload your image over here, right? And you want to describe the image description and the trademark name over here. Okay. If it is a word mark, then uh, you will not get this upload image because it is just a word. So word means you can type which word you want to protect over here. Okay. For other things you want to upload. If it is a device mark, for example, if it is a sound mark, you want to upload the sound track also. Upload the sound as well as the upload the image. And uh, if it is a shape of the good also, you want to upload. Okay. So mostly uh, in our uh, area, we go for word mark. Or we go for a logo mark. Okay. So this can be done over here. And if the mark in a language other than Hindi or English, you want to translate the things in uh, English. Okay. Thank you. So translate those things. If the logo is in English and the device name is English or the word mark is in English, you can leave this. No issues. And conditions or limitation. And every class has their own uh, goods and services description. You just copy those descriptions and put it over here, uh, which means that conditions for limitations are applicable to all these things. Along with, you can uh, define the, the logo also, which means uh, the logo is in black and white color, or the logo is only uh, this color, or only in a black and white. So like that, it is used only in terms. Uh, say, for example, you are going to use the same logo in multicolor, you can uh, define that also. The logo is used in different color. The logo is used in black and white color, like that, okay? And this is the class number and proposed to work, statement of the, all click all these things. And once you complete the application properly, along with the uploading the documents or the logo, save and exit or save resume. Resume means it will go to the document attachment. So in the document attachment, you want to upload your PAN card other card along with your uh, documents, which means document means what I mean. Um, if it is a logo, you want to upload that logo in a attachment uh, place. Okay. So along with your uh, address proof, like PAN card, other card under the document, then you can pre preview this thing. And once this thing completed, then you have to sign it digitally, which means if you click this and the uploaded signature in the system that will appear over here and you can click and digitally sign and finally you can close it and you can wait for uh, the days uh, they will tell you or uh, they will give you the status in the status uh, bar where you can see in the tm search Let us slow a little bit and close other things. So this TM search I uh, showed you in the search option now, where you can uh, type your uh, logo name or brand name in that location, and you can see the status whether the status is uh, accepted or advertised or whatever the status, whether if it is a discrepancy reply, you want to discrepant, you want to clear the discrepancy also in the trademark status, okay? Uh, that is a bit slow here. Okay, so this is the kind of thing you want to uh, do in a uh, trademarks portal uh, over here. Okay, fine. So this is all about uh, trademark portal. And can you see this uh, slide? Anybody? Yeah. Are you able to see this slide? Am I showing? No, no, sir. Yes. 
Now, now, yes, sir. We are able to see, yeah. sir. Thank you, yes, sir. Yeah. So this is well. So once you completed your trademark application, you can check your uh, status by giving your name over here and class search. That will give you whether the application is in uh, examination or accepted or advertised. All these things. And apart from this, uh, we have an area where what is called a journal. So we'll get the trademark journal, copyright journal, as well as patent journal, where you can see uh, once it is published, all the informations will be uh, published in the journal also. So that is also available uh, in trademark side, uh, copyright side, as well as in the uh, patent side. Or you can just Google it, uh, patent journal, that will give you the patent journal also. Or you can give trademark journals, that will give you trademark journals, where you can access uh, weekly wise or monthly wise your uh, trademark journals, copyright journals or uh, patent journals where you can see the things also. Okay, so that's all about the portal visit. So all uh, it requires us, you need a digital signature to accept uh, uh, trademark and uh, patent in online application. Without that, you cannot uh, do anything. But for copyright, it is not the case. You can uh, directly file your uh, document without any digital signature, okay? So that's all. Thank you. If you want any clarification, you can ask me. The most important thing in patent is writing claim because the patent is given only to the claim, not to the uh, other information, okay? So claim writing is most important thing in patent. The same way uh, in trademark and the copy, uh, trademark, the distinction between other and yours are the most important thing, which means your logo should be different from the already existing logo, okay? And in copyright, it is a matter of writing works. So almost whatever you apply for the copyright, you will be able to receive copyright for your documents because that is called the copyright fair use. Because if it is Ohm's law, you are designing a question bank, Ohm's law is common to everyone. I, I, if I design a question bank with answer, Ohm's law is common to me, Ohm's law is common to you. You can uh, derive that also. So like that, there is a lot of uh, liberty and independent in designing uh, copyrights compared to the trademark and the patent. So the difficulty also goes like this, copyright, trademark, and uh, patent, okay? So I hope I showed uh, something related to the workshop today. And I don't know how to come to the webinar page. Okay, I think I got it. Yes, so any information you want regarding this or any clarification? Dear participants, if you have any doubt or anything, kindly yeah. ask your questions. And if you have a logo or a brand name, uh, if you want any help uh, in future, you can contact me or for filing patent in online mode, you can contact me and for copyright also, you can contact me. So, if, so let us start with the copyright and the trademark because uh, getting patent, it takes a lot of time. So in a copyright category, you can get a copyright certification in six months. Uh, trademarks also, uh, you'll get approximately six to seven months. But for patent, it takes more than a year. So you can start try. And if you have any doubt, uh, you can contact me. I have given contact number also in uh, uh, the slide. Or if you have, if you want, you can get the number from um, the Dr. Dhanasegaran, sir. And he will guide you uh, to contact me also. So advice is always free. Uh, you are free to ask me. Now, that's all. OK. I think this is the time to put up. Thanks. Yeah, yes, sir. I think I have taken half an hour more than the allotted time. Yeah. Uh, Sorry for thank you. Yeah. Thank you for uh, Sir Jay Chandran for giving the wonderful, uh, valuable information to our uh, mentor mentee schemes. That. 
uh, I think so. I hope instead of me, okay, our uh, mentee intuition, they may share a few points. I feel so happy. Yeah, I just want to know whether I have given some input regarding this portal and other things. That's all. Because filing pattern, uh, still it takes a lot of time to write, climb, and uh, verify the search and takes a lot of other process also available. But uh, as far as the portal concern, I think I have made somewhere, I've taken to somewhere, at least a little bit. And kindly do not waste your money in filing, um, uh, what is that called, copyright and trademarks through other agency. It is easy in online mode. So you can try yourself. If you know how to file it, then you can go easily. If not, you have to pay 10,000 rupees, 12,000 rupees to the external agency. Uh, that is our money, you know, why should we waste? And being an uh, advisory board for IPS services, I should not reveal all this information, but still being a teacher and a faculty, I always give whatever the information I know, uh, I will tell you to others because that is the teaching community. That is why. Yeah, teaching community means sharing the knowledge. That yes, is the primary. Okay. Okay. So thank you, Jayachandran, for giving the wonderful session to us under the Mentor Mentee Scheme Activity 4. Okay. So in this occasion, I thank the Ministry of Innovation Council for giving the funding support to organize the Mentor Mentee Schemes. Uh, we act as a mentor, the Guru Nanak Institute of Technology. And I thank uh, Mentee Institution, RDBRR, BITS, KGET, and BJIT, PBRIT, all colleges for uh, regularly come and participate to uh, gathering the information through in these schemes. In this occasion, I special thanks to my uh, our principal, Dr. S. Srinath Reddy, sir, for continuously giving support to organize this uh, type of wonderful programs. And uh, I thank today our resource person, Mr. Jaisandran, sir, for uh, sharing the more knowledge about the uh, copyrights, patent, trademarks, how to be filed, all those things. Thank you, sir. Thank you for giving the Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.